Good morning, Greg here from Dundee City Centre, it's Christmas Eve. I know I told everyone not to feel the pressure on Christmas, but I'm kind of feeling a little bit of pressure this morning. I'm getting a little panicky and anxious because there's one or two little things I still need to kind of get and organise, but <clears throat> nothing too bad, but just... You know how it is every year, you always think you have not got enough or you have not done that right or whatever but hopefully I'll, it's just coming up for 8 o'clock in the morning and I noticed, I was down here for half past 7 and I noticed there was many many other people with the, in the same boat as me with their empty reusable shopping bags getting ready to go to the shops when they open up. <laughs> Listen to the seagulls. Well hopefully I won't be down here too long because I remember in days gone by, I remember coming down this time and then 9, 10 o'clock hits and it's just absolute mayhem. So hopefully it won't be too busy just now in the shops and we'll see you. Oh, someone running. <laughs> well, have a great Christmas Eve and I'm sure I'll speak to you very soon. Bye. Here I am in the Overgate Centre, pretty quiet just now, the calm before the storm in the circus. I've already got a few items of nice clothing there from one of the shops, which is good. Now I just need to wait for 9 o'clock when I think most of the other places open. Well, quite a few shops are not even open until 9, you'd think. There's some opening, open at 8. But you think the whole, especially on Christmas Eve, you think everywhere will just be open from 8 o'clock, eh? Well, we just have to wait around. So, another couple of gifts down. I don't know what I'm doing wearing this big bloody warm coat. I need it outside, but sweltering indoors and then it's too big a jacket to bloody carry around with me with my bags and stuff do I want a coffee? that is the question mm, maybe one for the road Whew. nice to get some cool fresh air. It's bloody roasting in there with the heating on. Feels like I've been down here for hours already. <laughs> I think I've just got a couple other things to do and then I just want to get up the road as soon as possible and then we can enjoy the rest of our Christmas Eve. And so the rush begins. Most of them, most of them, yes. 
Is it on hold? Don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, who's that? I'm bad, I'm just waiting for I've got to head in the game and get something for the neighbour's bed and that. Well, I knew I usually bump into somebody I know in town and this yes, is feeling pretty my, rough <laughs> from uh, night shift. My childhood yeah. friend Dean Scroggy. I'm looking at a nice surprise. Yeah, no, no. Fucking soaks he can. Yeah, soaks. <laughs> <laughs> Say hi everyone. Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, have a Merry Christmas everyone as well from the Scroggy clan. Uh, but uh, hopefully I'll see you again in the new year. Alright. <laughs> yep. So that was a nice surprise bumping into my friend Dean Scroggy. He's been my friend for the best part of 30 years. Yeah, it was nice to bump into him and I also spoke to his wife Max. I've just got some photos printed and I'm waiting on them and then I think I still need to get some wrapping paper and gift tags. Great fun. So I'll be heading into one of the card shops and I know it's going to be busy in there. You just have to keep smiling, remain positive. Remember I was talking the other morning about the lack of Christmas festivities and market and stuff like that in Dundee. Well this is what I was talking about, just here. This is what we have. This is Dundee City Centre's Christmas. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Holy shit, look at the queue for Pandora. There's either loads of good deals going on there or it's just a popular shop. I may as well just keep the camera out. I keep taking out every two minutes. I'll keep a hold of it. Disney and Star Wars Overload. Ho ho ho! I just love Christmas time in the city centre. Oh god, I was just in Tesco Metro there. It was like an unbelievable cattle market in the middle of summer. Oh. Hopefully I've just got a couple more things to do. I need to get wrapping paper, more tape and more gift tags. And then I should be done, hopefully. And then I'm trying to get my ass up the road. I'm exhausted. Where's Santa? Ho, ho, ho. I'm actually beat. I'm beat. Oh, God. I'm just having a sit down break just now. Sorry, I'm not saying much, I'm just having some fresh air and sitting down having a break for five minutes. Ah, it's crazy. Whew. Home now, thank God. 
if I've forgotten anything, tough. <laughs> I'm sure I'll share this with you all soon. Have a lovely Christmas, although you probably won't see this till after Christmas. We'll see. See you later. Bye. Corn Daddy here. Hi. Hi. This is me and Colleen on Christmas Eve. We're just taking it easy. Relaxing, eh, Colleen? Yeah. Get your nose out your get your finger <laughs> out your nose. Oh, night night, Colleen. Night oh, night. Are you sleepy? Ah. There he is. <laughs> oh, I hope these are all ready for Christmas. Yes. And this Don't snow. worry. Don't worry if you haven't got everything absolutely perfect because what's most important is that you yeah. spend time it's, it's, it's with family and loved ones. Like and me and Colleen. Eh? And this a sky is one. Two stars. Yeah? Yeah! And with the two stars up <coughs> in the sky. Who's, who's coming to your house tonight? Santa Claus. Colleen Santa Claus. Colleen Santa Claus? Yeah. Are you the real Santa Claus? Yeah. <laughs> okay, from me and Colleen. And mummy, mummy's not here just now. We'd like to wish you all a Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. See you soon. See Bye. You soon.